that's a slight different mix on it because you don't usually see elbow pads. That's right, yeah. I've, I've noticed sometimes in the other countries, you know, like France and the rest of it, sometimes they have the elbow pads. Even on the high skill, uh, high level fights, they have elbow yeah. pads. Uh, I personally like that idea because, uh, you know, we all know what elbows can do now. We all, we all love Muay Thai, but elbows, for what, what fighters get paid to take elbows and to take serious cuts and what it can potentially do to fighters, I believe that fighters should be earning a lot more. Uh, but we also need the spectators to come in in order for them to earn right. what they really deserve, so to speak. Oh, course, so I personally think there's nothing wrong with even professional fights being with elbow pads. Right. And then if they were fighting for really good pay, then they have no elbow pads. Right. Am I making sense? You know, yeah. We all know how tough Muay Thai is and we all yeah. know uh, um, to step in there and take elbows. Yeah. It takes a lot of guts and whatever. Your, your passion for the sport can allow you to do that. Yeah. But I think it's high time that people recognize that you know what elbows that the effect of elbows and really pay the the athletes what they deserve in order to, to be having the elbow fights and i hope that the amateur circuit and the ngc leads to that right. where fans uh spectators flock in numbers uh to watch these guys these high level fighters that have put in a lot of work yeah. into what they love and hopefully if it grows to that extent then the fighters can get paid properly you know right. uh, i believe we're in a, it's already recognized as the hardest ring sport in the world yeah. um, and yet we're getting paid the least yeah uh, and i'm not talking about just fighters i'm talking about coaches as well mm -hmm. um, yeah i'm talking about everyone involved in our sport really right. uh, also I, I believe the olympics if the, if the muay thai olympics goes ahead mm -hmm. it will be with elbow pads uh, shin pads or whatever you but it will be high level A class fighters competing. So if they haven't tested themselves with elbow pads, right. shin pads or body harness, whatever, yeah. then it, it might they might find it hard to adjust again. So of course, of course. it's also a way of you know the country getting to you know the fighters getting to practice with protective gear again right. in preparation yeah. for the Olympics so to speak.